the construction of the Savalmash Design and Technological Bureau has reached a new stage. During August, the builders worked on the most important task – to prepare the building for heat supply before the cold weather. The heating circuit of the building was closed. The installation of the exterior cladding and windows was completed. The gates and doors were installed. The hydro insulation of the subconcrete on the ground floor has begun. After that, the builders will start the concreting of the finished floor, first of all, in the areas where the heating equipment will be installed. On the second floor, the erection of the interior partitions and the creation of the technical rooms for the ventilation system are in progress, where the ventilation grates are already being installed. They are necessary for air purification, creation of clean rooms in the design bureau and other tasks. The startup of the heat in the building requires timely financing. We would like to remind you that there is a promotion for attracting funds for laying the engineering works till August the 31st inclusive. Take advantage of the most profitable investment conditions in the history of the project, get up to 50% bonus investment shares and support the construction of the Design and Technological Bureau Savalmash. From August 15th to 21st, one of the most significant military exhibitions in the world was held in Moscow region, the International Military Technical Forum Army 2022. This was the first time Savalmash took part in an event of such scale. At the exhibition, the company presented more than 20 of its own developments. The greatest delight of all the visitors of several bus stands was the BTR-80 electric transport vehicle, modernized with the use of Slovenka technology. Specialists praised the gearless elevator winch, electric tools and appliances with a built-in Slovenka drive, an induction motor well and other developments. The forum was visited by almost 2 million people, military delegations from 85 countries, specialists from specialized companies, and just people interested in machinery. Now Sovelmash is already working with those potential customers who have shown interest in the company's products and services. Sovelmash developers made a big impression on the media as well. Priority information sponsors of the forum and other media, including Zvezda TV channel and Milk Press, one of Russia's leading military news agencies, spoke in detail about the company, the construction of the Design and Technological Bureau and Slovenka technology. On August the 6th, the International Conference of Solar Group Company took place in the Congress Center of Technopolis Moscow Special Economic Zone, not far from the Savalmash construction site. About 350 investors and project partners from 16 countries took part in the event. Top managers and national partners of Solar Group, representatives of Savalmash and companies which modernized transport using Slovenka technology, spoke at the conference. Guests of the conference learned how construction of the Design and Technological Bureau Savalmash is going and visited the construction site. They saw vehicles and other developers with Slovenka. They received answers to their questions from Solar Group management and Savalmash representatives. They got to know the results of five years of the project financing, and they talked to like-minded people from all over the world. One of the big factories in China has started preparations for the production of handheld power tools under license from Savalmash. Savalmash partner Viktor Aristov is the general director of the company established for this purpose. Production of power tools will start this year. Angle grinders and crosscut saws will be put on the conveyor first. A part of the products will be supplied as components from China to Zelenograd, where they will be assembled and then sold in Russia and CIS countries under the Savalmash brand. Another part of the products will be supplied to the markets of China and Europe under the brand of the Chinese manufacturer. New tests of electric cars with engines with Slavanka took place on the karting track in the Moscow region. The equipment was upgraded by Andrei Lobov's team. Electric motors with combined windings were installed on the cars. Professional racers took part in the tests. They especially liked the weight distribution of electric cars, which allows them to go around corners faster and safer than on gasoline-powered machines. During the month of the context, investors in the project published videos on their pages in social networks, telling why they invest with Solar Group. Out of 65 contest videos, we chose the most creative and well done ones. The winners received cash prizes on their main account and their back offices. You can view the clips by clicking on the link in the description. New investment packages have appeared in the back office, so that you have more opportunities to choose the one you feel comfortable paying. 
These are packages of denominations of 35, 75, 400 and 500 thousand dollars in installments of 10, 20 and 30 months. As well as packages of the former denominations 200,000, 250,000 and 300,000 but with a new 30-month installment term. Also, the functionality of the ordering of invested documents has been updated in the back office. It has become more user-friendly. Printed versions of documents are equal to electronic ones. Their preparation and delivery can be ordered in the back office profile in the Documents Delivery section. A new presentation of the Dudorf Modis project is now available in the back office. It answers the most common questions. Which companies are implementing the project? What the engineering company Savalmash is doing? How Slavanka technology will save the planet's ecology and help you make money? And others. The presentation is available in 13 languages and can be found in the For the Partners Materials section or by following the link in the description.